Have you ever wondered how they make that incredibly small hole inside a hypodermic needle? Well, contrary to what you might think, it isn't drilled. The process actually begins with a much larger hollow metal tube to shrink it down to the final needle size. Manufacturers use a method called tube drawing. The tube is pulled through a series of progressively smaller molds, or dies. Each pass makes the tube narrower and longer. A simple way to picture this is to imagine pulling a plastic straw from both ends. As you stretch it, the middle section becomes thinner and longer, and the hole inside shrinks right along with it. The manufacturing process for a needle is based on this exact principle, but it's done with extreme precision and involves controlled heating. However, not just any metal can be used. The material must be rust-proof, non-reactive with bodily fluids, strong, sharp, and hypoallergenic. Most importantly, it has to be sterilizable without degrading. That's why a specific material, like 316L medical-grade stainless steel, is the standard.